colleagues, I want to thank Senator Tanis to uh, have provided us an opportunity today to discuss the practice of putting in a Budget Implementation Act a lot of other things, including amendments to various laws with no financial aspect and, of course, even less budgetary aspect, like tax. Maybe the carbon tax was a budgetary issue. According to the Conservatives, it's a tax. This practice that was supposed, uh, supported by this Senate in, previous, in the previous Parliament and previous Parliaments must stop. And I'm happy to see a change of opinion amongst many around us here today that were there at the time. So I really appreciate the fact that they are changing their mind about this type of, bu of, of Budget Implementation Act. As I, report, as I was reported to Saab said, and rightly so in the Globe and Mail last week, I am of the view that it is the, this practice continued by the current government, despite its promise to do otherwise, <laughs> is an abuse of parliamentary process, preventing us to fully debate important issues unrelated to the budgetary aspects of the government agenda. The question then is, what should we do to stop such a practice by conservative and liberal governments? What Senator Tanis is proposing is to make a sunset provision on an amendment to the Election Act. Colleagues, the provision in question was proposed by the government without any prior consultations with the Chief Electoral Officer or the Privacy Commissioner, commissioner as was said of the Legal Committee. In fact, the amendment is nothing but an attempt to derail legal proceedings pending in BC introduced by the Provincial Privacy Commissioner against all the federal political parties operating in the province of BC. That excludes the blood. All these parties are united in challenging the authority of the BC Privacy Commissioner. In my view, the logical approach will be to propose to delete the provision, but it seems Senator Tanis proposes to keep it, but only for two years. So this is not a good provision, was not adopted prior, uh, with prior consultations, but nevertheless it should be enforced for two years. I don't really understand the approach. But that said, I think our response to the BIA is to, should be exercised, should be in full exercise of restraint, as was pointed out by Senator Sugart yesterday in his very interesting speech. It was a very good maiden speech, sir. And today, another one which is very good. <laughs> instead of presenting an immediate message, instead of sending an immediate message to the other place at the 11th hour, I would prefer the adoption of a strong motion or an amendment to our rules that would be both well published, well before, the coming, well before they are coming into force, and well before the next budget. Instead of a prior warning, what is proposed today is an amendment that will likely create havoc at the 11th hour before the recess, the summer recess. This is not, in my opinion, a wise way to press for change. Accordingly, I will vote against the proposed amendment. Thank you.